Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ, and we are back on another episode of Don't Starve. Last episode, we said that this could potentially be our new base. Since so there's three spider spawners, that so we can get all of the stuff that we get from them: monster meat, spider webs, and all that kind of stuff. We've got some pigs here with some pig houses about, which is nice. But this is all one island. There's a big forest here that we could potentially uh, get a lot of wood from. But if there's nothing up this way. We have no, well, we've got wheat not too far away, but it's not a huge amount. Um, we've got an evil biome down there. This is what we really want. This is where all the wheat and the rabbits are going to be. That's quite far away. So we're going to have a look up here today. Now, I've done quite a little bit of playing off camera. These paths make you walk a little bit faster. I've done a little bit of playing off camera. Uh, enough, much, uh, enough that uh, I've actually unlocked the next character um, and it was going well I've learned an awful lot from playing a little bit off camera an awful lot I've learned that uh, oh, I was playing with the other guy and on the one that I was doing food was no problem Ooh, food was no problem whatsoever uh, I very very quickly got set up uh, with a lot of farms Thanks to feeding the pigs a lot of, um, uh, what are they called, flowers, uh, to get them to give me manure. I had about five or six farms set up, which was brilliant enough to keep my food going, no problem. Food was not an issue anymore. Something that I have realised though on this game, oh we're going to need a torch, oh no I've got a lighter. Something I have realised on this game though, is it this game does not give you a break. You never never get a break on this game okay you are constantly being uh, attacked or there's constantly something going wrong wow this this literally does nothing this lighter does nothing whatsoever <laughs> let's set up the night if we can find a spot where we're not gonna burn down some trees oh man no this is like a dead end here as well let's keep exploring how are we doing for food seeds I've got some berries, but that's it. No, this looks like a dead end as well. This looks like a no good area for us. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go over to this, this warp hole and hopefully we'll end up in a little bit of a better place. This isn't set up enough. There's not enough biomes around here for uh, enough different biomes that we want for us to really sustain a healthy, um, a healthy living. Okay? lot of pigs, but that's really about it this way. Uh, I think through the warp hole, potentially we might be able to get something better. Uh, as far as... Oh, carrot. I'll take carrot. Oh! There's a farm here. And another farm. What? Is this... This isn't my base. This is like an old base. You know, I'm going to hang here. Until it's day, until it's uh, daytime again, just to get a good look around. It looks like there's some stuff already planted. Well, this could change the game with farms already set up. Looks like there's three. There's some saplings. There's some grass already done. There's a lot of woods around us. There's pigs not far away at all. We can get some berry bushes and move those closer. We can build another science machine, no problem at all. It's nearly daytime. Hmm. Well, this has changed a little bit. I've never found like a, a, a set up village before. Oh, please be daytime very, very soon. I have looked into this box thing as well. Apparently, this box thing, you need three items or something. Pick up metal potato thing. There's another one. So, apparently, there's three of these things that actually will um, build some other thing. But as far as what this thing is, is I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> I don't know. Shovel could come in handy. Oh, it's a brand new shovel as well. Some carrots. I shall take these. We've got a little path. You know what? This looks like a pretty nice little setup place. Can we build a big fire here? Have we got the stuff for it. We do. You know, I'm going to build a nice big fire. I don't want to build it close enough to things that's going to set up a light to stuff. No. Have we got an axe? Yeah, let's start chopping these trees down. Just so it's not... If we build this fire too big, we have the potential of setting fire to a lot of stuff. And I don't want to do that. 
So let's just clear a little tiny bit of space. We can also dig up these stumps to get another log out of it. Remember not to leave your shovel on when just collecting resources, otherwise you'll dig up a load of different stuff that you don't want to. Okay, let's plant some seeds down in these farms. Great! This is potentially a very, very nice thing. We can build more farms here. We can collect some flowers, go to the pigs, get some more manure. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is a pretty nice place. This isn't a bad place at all. We could get something out of that grave if we dig it up with a shovel as well. But there is a very high chance, if not a 100% chance, of actually ending up with um, um, a ghost coming out. These butterflies I've also learnt a lot of. These butterflies, if you catch them, you can eat them. They'll heal you and feed you quite a lot, actually. A lot more than you would think. Uh, in addition to that, they also... We need we need to start getting prepared, really, actually. Um, they also, if you plant them, you can actually plant a butterfly and make flowers or something like that, I read. Not 100% sure. Uh, but, first thing that we need to do is make a science machine. Another one here. So let's build that there. Wonderful. And a log suit is the next thing that we desperately need to make. Log suit. Wonderful. We're going to put that right there. Okay, and let's not put tools in there. So now we're prepared. We can click that, bang, it'll drop down our rucksack, but it'll put our log suit on. And that way, when the things come, the hounds come, which could be any time now, uh, at least we'll sort of be safe-ish. Let's cook up some of these carrots to survive. Just so we get a little bit of food. Now, I've also learnt about a thing called the naughtiness level. And the naughtiness level, basically, um, if you kill things that aren't evil, like butterflies and rabbits and stuff, it'll raise up your naughtiness level. And if your naughtiness level gets too high, you'll get a very, very bad thing come chase after you, which isn't good. Uh, I've got two axes. Hmm. Oh, 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 no, don't pick that up. See, if you have the shovel out, you'll pick up things that you don't really want to pick up. What did I want to do here while, we, while we're here? We need wood. That's a big priority for today. We've only got four. I would also... Yeah, wood is like the main thing at the minute. We need to build a chest. We've left our... No, we've got our boxing here. Yeah, we need a chest. That would be a big one. Did that... Oh, that died just as we were hitting it. Can you believe it? Um, what was I going to say? chest is a good one to store some stuff that we don't really need. This gnome I looked into, this gnome is just a decoration piece. It does nothing more than... Oh, seeds. Need those. Uh, these birds will sometimes drop them. It does nothing more than just decoration. That's it. Uh, in the old version of Don't Start that I used to play, you could put these gnomes into a science machine and it would give you science points, which is how it used to work back then. Um, so yeah, on the uh, one that I was doing off camera, it was going really well. I had all the farms set up. Food is not a problem. Uh, I, did I say this? I don't think I did. Uh, but then I decided to make a boomerang. I thought maybe a ranged weapon would be a really good idea. A really good thing to have. I was wrong. <laughs> oh, I was right. It's a good thing to have because it's really easy to kill birds with to get some extra food. Uh, although that does raise your naughtiness level. I've now found out. Oh, more seeds. We need to grab those hand seeds there. Keep an eye out for seeds. Keep collecting those all the time. Uh, the only trouble is, was I didn't know that you had to hold down spacebar when the boomerang was returning. <laughs> so I threw the boomerang, it hit something, the boomerang come back, I wasn't holding down spacebar to catch it again. The boomerang hit me in the face, I was low on health after a spider attack, and it killed me. Which obviously, is not good. <laughs> not good at all. Another thing I found out about these mushrooms here, if I... I wonder if we can plant these mushrooms. Can we plant these mushrooms? No, you can't. But I did find out, if you equip your shovel, and you dig up the mushrooms, you'll actually get two instead of one. Which is really great. I also found out that these mushrooms are amazing for crockpot recipes. And I looked into some of the crockpot recipes as well. The mulshi goo or something that we got a few episodes ago, doesn't actually happen that often. It was nothing that we done. It wasn't because we put a stick in there. Usually if you put a stick in, you'll make kebabs. Um, so it's not because we done an ingredient wrong. Uh, it was just a very low chance that that would ever happen. Crock pot. That's the next thing that we should probably make. How do we make that? 
crock pot. Uh, we need some cut stone, which we can do. We go to the refine, make some cut stone. One, two, three. Let's put the stone on the floor. I can't carry them. They can stay there, though. Pick up cut stone. Oh, man. Pick up. Pick up. Drop them all. And we need some... Um, charcoal. Charcoal's pretty easy to... Let's get that fire going all night. Charcoal's pretty easy to do. What we're going to have to do, though, is get an area that isn't going to set fire to everything. Uh, so let's take down this tree. Here. Oh, man. Oh, oh. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Go, 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 go. We're good, we're good. So, um, yeah, and then we can we can burn down the trees to get charcoal from it. I did notice, or apparently, according to the wiki, this girl, I've forgotten her name, her sanity should rise when we're by fire, but our sanity is at maximum anyway. It does say it's dropping because it's night time. Oh, it is dropping. Apparently, depending on how close to the fire you are, yeah, there you go. It's now going up. You've got to be really close to the fire, though, and your sanity will rise. Okay. Uh, Food-wise, our berries are going off a little bit more. Let's cook a three of these, maybe. Just keep eating. We should be fine for food for a little while. These crops should start growing. We need some charcoal to get a crock pot going. That's going to be our first priority for the next day. We can chop some trees down while we're here, in fact. And then, the day after that, I think we're going to go to the pigs. We're going to collect some flowers up when we can. Go to the pigs, get some more manure to make some more farms. They seem to be the best way, in my opinion, from what how I've played so far, to get food. Uh, is, by, is by farms. They take a little while to grow, but even with these basic farms that grow the crops slower, um, we can actually survive off them and them alone. Anyway. Let's dig up these stumps. They're no good just being there anyway. You might as well just grab the logs out of them. Hup. Get it. And I reckon that should be enough charcoal there. How much charcoal do we need? Is it six if we need? It might not be enough then. Just grab these. Doesn't matter what size the stump is. You'll still get a log from them, which is nice. Uh, if I pick the lighter out, can I actually... Why have I got a torch on me? Did I find that or did I make it and not know about it? Okay, if we burn that down... Probably good idea not to have that in our thing, though. <laughs> in our rucksack, because if you put the log suit on, we've then lost our light, and that's like a, a good source of light. Well, not a great source of light, but it's a source of light if we need it. Okay, so this is how you get charcoal. I'm grab that. Oh, some more seeds. Wonderful. Keep grabbing those whenever you can. If you leave them there, birds will come and eat them. Okay, so we've got four charcoal. That could be enough. Possibly. Stack that wood up to a full stack. Wood only stacks in 20, unfortunately. Uh, and then we come over here. Pick those up. Can we make a crock pot now? Drying rack, crock pot. No, we need we need two more. Um, trouble is, I don't want to burn down the whole place. <laughs> I really, really don't want to burn down the whole lot. Um, uh, I just want, like some trees on their own. That's what I'd prefer. Like that. Uh, oh yeah, she's immune to fire. Good. I forgot about that. I'm not going to grab all these carrots because they will go off. Can I grab that? Oh, set fire to the flower. That's such a bad thing. Oh, <laughs> I killed the butterfly. Oh man, that's not good. I could eat this. Eat. Oh, wrong one. Eat. Okay, uh, ash we don't need for the minute. That will disappear. That'll dissipate in time. It doesn't stay for long at all, ash, but you do need it for healing potions. So it's probably as good that we get it if we do get it. Um, what can I put down? Just put that gnome down there for the moment. Yeah, this ash is actually quite important. We can build some really nice healing potions with that. Okay, so we've got enough for a crock pot. While we're out here, have we got any space for petals? I do. Oh, seeds, seeds, seeds. Very, very important. All in a bit of a, all in a bit of a mess at the moment. Any, whenever you start up but don't start world, don't start world, you will soon realise. Oh, there's something here. You'll soon realise 
uh, that you never get a rest. You'll always have something going wrong. Ah, this is where... This is the portal. Spider nest relatively close by. That's nice. Grab these flowers. No more flowers up there. Hmm. That's quite nice that we've got a spider nest nearby. We can get some really easy string and stuff from this. I don't really want to fight him now, though. I don't have any inventory space. So I'll grab these flowers. Yoink. Yoink. There's a butterfly underneath that one. <laughs> I think if we take all the flowers away, butterflies won't spawn. Possibly. I don't quite exactly know how it works. We'll grab that berry bush when we can as well. Same with bees. They need to be able to pollinate them. But they are important to us for manure at the moment. So I'm going to just grab them all. All these ones that are close by. More carrots. Grab these berries as well. So much stuff. Oh, I grabbed the carrot. I want to leave some food naturally about. If we get desperate, we should be able to be able to cut, you know, find them then. Find some food if we do get really, really desperate. These evil flowers have absolutely no use in the game at all. Unless you want to deliberately lower your sanity. Apart from that, they, they literally have no use. Seeds. Seeds. Yoink. Okay. We're going to have to start heading back now. Pretty sure I know the way back. Looks like we have a path which is amazing running to our base. If you run on the pass, you run a lot quicker. Uh, especially if you've got things chasing after you. It's a very, very handy thing. Um, indeed. Okay, there's our base. Right there. I love this little base, man. This is crazy. Crazy nice. Now, crock pot. Crock pot. Boop. We'll put the crock pot down over here. And let's get something going in it. So, these mushrooms, that can go in there. Berries can go in there. Uh, a carrot can go in there. And that's all I've really got, so I'm going to put a stick in there as well. Cook that, and that should make kebabs. Should be in the prime word there. Uh, oh no, it's made a mush, hasn't it? That's so unlucky. Yeah, wet goop. That literally does nothing. Apparently that happens very, very rarely. I'm going to try it again. Because it cooked so quick. It shouldn't happen that often. Carrot. Or maybe you need meat for a kebab? That could be the problem. In fact, yeah, let's take this twig out. Instead, I'm going to put in another carrot. That should make something. Hopefully. I'm hoping so. They shouldn't despawn there. 12 logs. They can stay on the wall there. On the floor there is back up. So will the 11 rocks. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if I can make a healing potion. Just in case. Where would healing potion be? Keep an eye out on the time. I f always forget which one it's in. Not in this one. Um, survival? Nope. I always lose... Ah, yeah, it is in here. Okay, we need one rock. We do that. You know, I'm going to make one now. Just because it's an incredibly handy thing to have if we get low on health. There we go. That's made something. Eat that. Ratatouille. And while we've got the stuff, we might as well keep making stuff here. A um, couple of carrots and a mushroom. Oh, seeds. Get out of here, bird. Uh, yeah, tomorrow, next day, we're going to go to the pig place. Get as much manure as we can. So we're going to gather flowers along the way. I'm going to get ready on this fire now, I think. Keep this stocked up. And we need to start um, placing down more uh, grass and saplings as well nearby. So we can have like a, a bit of a... Uh, an area where relatively safe, we don't have to travel too far for resources. And if we get enough, we should have a constant source of everything that we need. I don't really need to carry these about as well. We could make a chest at some point to put this stuff in, which would be good. Uh, but it requires an awful lot of wood to make a chest. A crazy amount of wood. Uh, in fact, we could make one now if we wanted to, I suppose. Hmm. If I pick those up, let's see how many we need. I think we need... Three planks. One, two, three. Yeah, we're down to eight wood. 
And then structures, chest. And uh, we'll build a chest right there. Where'd it go? Where'd my chest go? Have I missed it? Where did my chest go? I've got eight wood there. What on earth? Is my chest... Where is my chest? I had it. It took the wood from me. Didn't it? Oh no. I think we just lost it. Did it glitch or something? These are nearly done. Hurry up, you stupid plant. Okay, pigs. That's, that's number one today. We need to go... There's one pig up there. But there's lots of pigs down here. Let's go down there. Oh, that's so annoying. What a waste of wood. Definitely not in there. I'm going to have to look back on the video to see exactly what happened there. Because I absolutely have no idea. Oh, some different mushrooms. Joink. Grab those. And there's another one here. Oh, I was wondering if you shoveled them, if you maybe got more out of it. That would be a really cool thing. Let's grab this bush here as well. See, we can grab all of this stuff. We need a space for manure, though. So let's not fill our inventory up completely. Okay. And these berry bushes, I did I did mention this last time on Season 1. Uh, these berry bushes will grow us berries, but first we have to fertilize them. Um... Mm. Oh no, don't give them to him there. Otherwise we'll pick up the carrots by accident, won't we? Come here, pig. Pig. Yoink. Poop. Grab me the poop. Poop. Pick up this as well. Oh, so, some more mushrooms here. This is a really good spot by the looks. Yoink, yoink. We're going to be good for food. That's the first thing, in my opinion, that you need to get sorted out. Especially before winter comes. When winter comes, we could potentially freeze to death. <laughs> so you gotta be very, very careful. Um, but be, but freezing to death isn't too hard to stop. Uh, we can build some uh, coats or something like that in this dress part, I think it is. And then that way we'll be able to keep the cold away from us. We can also go close to a fire or, or set a fire to something and stay near it. I'm not sure if a torch works. It should. I can't see why it wouldn't. We're getting loads of manure. This is amazing. All seeds as well. You can't give them, like, you can't give, like, petals after petals. Yeah, otherwise he does that. He doesn't want any more. Does he want any? No, he don't want any. Do you want any? He wants some. Yeah, this is fantastic. You. Thank you. And... I want to try and use up all these seeds. There's no point having them. We could make a flower hat to raise our sanity. But seeing as though she just likes fire to raise her sanity, that's pretty good for me. There's silk there, but I haven't got any space to carry it. Oh, more flowers. Oh, man. looks like the pigs got into a fight. I saw a healing gland down there as well. Grab that. <laughs> Grab that one. Hey, pig. Would you like some flowers? And we can also give these pigs meat. Monster meat works as well. As long as you don't give them too much of it. Otherwise, they'll... if you give them too much monster meat, they turn into a were pig. Um, or a monster pig or something like that. I think it's a were pig. Uh, but if you give them it, they'll actually follow you and they can work for you. They'll chop down trees for you. Uh, cool stuff like that. The only trouble is... Oh, seeds. The only trouble is... is uh, or it raises your sanity. But if you give them too much of it, they become were pigs, and that's something that you do not want to get near. You do not want to touch those at all. Okay, we're nearly out of petals. This amount of this amount of manure should do us for quite a while, which is wonderful. Eighteen. We're gonna get twenty manure. Nope. How much seeds? How many seeds have we got? Where are my seeds? I can't see them on my hotbar. Where are they? I keep picking them up. Where is everything going? Where are seeds? Oh, they're there. <laughs> I can't believe we lost that chest, though. That is so gutting. Um, back up this way. Whoops. Whoa, 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 whoa. I hit something really weird then. Um, 
I've got some space for this stuff as well. We can start growing this here. If you dig up the actual um, bases of them, you'll be able to regrow them and uh, sort of become a, uh, a, a your own source, a renewable source, you see. Uh, we can't grab the saplings there because we haven't got enough inventory space to grab them. All right, it's just up here. It's not it's too far. Aha, and our food has grown. Wonderful. Okay, we can grab the carrot because we've already got carrots on our inventory. Let's replant another one down. Where did they go again? There they are. Put that down. This one, that's a big old crop. Oh, these are going off. Um. Mm. Oh, wow, we're really hungry as well. I didn't even notice that. Oh, I'm getting all confused. Our berries are going off. So what we'll do with them is just cook them up and eat them. Eat them just cooked like this. Probably not the best thing to do, but what more can we do? There we go. They were just about to go off by the sounds of it. Okay, we'll grab this crock pot. Eat that. Get some mushroom in there. That mushroom in there. A carrot in there. And... Ah... We really don't have much. And that in there. Start cooking that up. Cook. Okay, this corn is great. We can just eat this how it is. Lovely. If you cook corn, you'll make popcorn and that'll do nothing. What on earth is this? A durian. Right, I've never had one. Sometimes if you eat them raw, they'll do more than cooking them. I'm going to eat this one raw. Okay, that done loads. Definitely uh, nasty. That hurt us. That hurt us slightly. Maybe we should cook that then. Possibly. Okay, we'll grab this food out of here. That's some backup food. Plant this berry bush down here. And we'll give it... Oops, we didn't plant it. Plant that. Fertilize it. Uh, I'm going to make a couple more farms as well. Hopefully we can keep and we can have enough seeds to be able to uh, sustain um, these farms. I'm really hoping so. So I'll build one there. And now we've built it once, we can build it again. Let's build one there. And then I'm going to save a little bit of manure here. We've got 11 left for some more berry bushes. So that's the next thing that we're going to be doing is getting, getting berry bushes as soon as possible. Let's cut down trees while while it's a little bit daytime at least. Unless we've got two, ax two axes. No, I don't. I just have one now. Why is all my stuff disappearing? <laughs> is it just me? Or is everything disappearing? Oh, that was close. Uh, wood? Where's my wood? Oh, man, I need to get my inventory sorted out so I know where everything is. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We should see you in the next episode. Why is this blue? Chest. Oh, place. There it is. I found it. Okay. <laughs> Bye.